Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? 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 Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Almost time for spin class. Oh, yeah. Spin class. Looking forward to it as always. I love the loud music, the darkness, the just lose yourself in the movement of your legs and I use that time to connect with Papa as well and it's just really awesome, a really awesome time. What is your exercise of choice? I'm not the sportiest of people, I'm not the most active of people, but I found spin. I love spin. Oh my gosh, so spin cycling is just awesome. I really want to experience soul cycle, but there's no soul cycle here in the UK, so when I go to America next, I think I'll have to try and find myself a class, basically, and see what that feels like, actually. Anyway. <laughs> I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight, in case you don't know, RNK for short, and this is the Deliberate live stream. And yes, I work with spirit-driven souls, determined, determined, determined. So I really, I'm making a... a, a this, this is for spirit-driven souls who are determined determined to change lives, make a difference, and create a heck of a lot of wealth for themselves and for their families. Okay, this, that is who I work with. And, and so we as, as go-getters, as people with big visions, there are times when you feel anxious, okay? Let's just be honest about that. There are times when you're pushing forward, trying to bring those dreams to life or bringing those dreams to life, and you feel anxious, you feel tense in your chest. Well, I do. I feel this. I feel this tension in your chest. You might feel it in some other part of your body. And I, in fact, for a long time, I didn't even recognize what it was until I suddenly realized, actually, it is a feeling of anxiety. It is anxiety, actually. Not just because I used to think, what is this pain? What is this stuff in my chest? I did wonder, is it actually something to do with my heart or something like that? But then suddenly I got this revelation, probably from the divine, that actually, no, you're just feeling a bit anxious right now, and it's okay. Okay, okay, it's not great, but yeah, there are times when I feel quite anxious because I'm always seeking to expand, always seeking the next thing, which, yeah, it's, and some would say, oh, you should just be satisfied with your life as it is. The truth of the matter is I'm happy in my current existence, but I also know that there's more for me. I also know that I'm called to more, and so there's always this push this desire inside of me to continually expand and it will be the same for you when you're pursuing the dreams of your heart. I don't always like saying pursuing, it's like you're, because you're, you're, it's almost like you're chasing something that is running away from you, but it's not. You're just opening up to allowing it to become your reality. But it's, it's calling you away from your normal way of doing things. And so, yes, there's anxiety that comes with that feeling. There is a feeling of, oh my gosh, am I enough to handle this? Can I handle this? And your body starts to kind of give you some signs that make you feel a little bit tense. So what do you do about it? What do you do about it when you feel these tense, anxious feelings? This is what I do, and this is the three, three little keys that I wanted to give you guys today on what to do when you feel that anxious feeling. Now, number one is, are you actually in alignment with your purpose? Are you actually working towards your purpose? One of the, one of the reasons why you might be feeling anxious, even as a go-getter, as a determined, spirit-driven soul, you might have somehow slightly come off your purpose track. You might have come off your true design path because maybe of some kind of fear around money. So maybe you're doing something just for money or you're doing something because you really want somebody to like you or somebody's asking you to do something that doesn't feel aligned with you. But because you think you need to be a nice person, you think you need to, you know, put other people first, you have taken yourself off your path to go and do this thing for this person or do this thing for the money or whatever. And so yes, there will be anxiety around that. So the first and foremost thing is to check in with yourself. Is this actually what I want to be doing right now? Now, this is not a question based on fear because fear will tell you, no, you don't want to be doing that. No, you need to be able to see beyond fear to is, is this actually for my big picture goal here, for my big picture vision, is this what I want to be doing right now? Is it, or am I just doing it for the money? Am I just doing it to be liked? Am I just doing it for approval? Am I, what am I doing it for? Is it for the vision or is it for some other random reason? In which case, yes, you will feel anxious. So you want to pull yourself back onto your true design path so that you're not off there somewhere doing something crazy. Number two, 
Don't avoid it. Don't pretend it's not there. Sit with it. Sit with the feeling for a little bit. For a little bit, I'll tell you what, in number three, but for now, number two, don't resist it. Whatever you resist will persist, one. Whatever you resist just gets bigger because you're paying attention to it. You're making it expand. You're making it get bigger. So what I like to do at this moment is actually just kind of ah, take a few deep breaths. And I have this affirmation that I sing quite a lot. I am, no. I, I, I hear it in my head. I can't seem to sing it right now. <laughs> Everything is working out for my good. I am at peace. And everything is working out for my good. I am at peace. And everything is working out for my good. I am at peace. And everything is working out for my good. So I'm saying those words over and over and over to myself. I am at peace. Everything is working out for my good. I am at peace. Everything is working out for my good. I am and I'm breathing into that. I'm feeling peace flowing through me. So I'm affirming what I know to be true. Okay, so I'm not just trying to program myself into it. I'm also just affirming it. I am at peace because the truth of the matter is that peace is never far away from me. I just need to open up to it. So by taking a moment not to avoid the tension feeling, not to run away from that, but actually to welcome in peace rather than just anxiety. So then I stay with that for a little bit. I am at peace and everything is working out for my good and in that moment as well i recognize that you know what right now nothing is going wrong nothing is there's nothing the matter there is literally nothing the matter right this minute and for the most part when you're feeling that anxiety that tension nothing is actually happening nothing is actually happening in your physical reality it's all happening in your mind and so just by t reminding yourself that everything is working out the truth of the matter if anything was happening right now you'd be dealing with it not feeling anxious about it <laughs> <laughs> but we only have time to feel anxious and feel tense when nothing actually is happening in our current existence. We're just imagining stuff. So what we want to do is come back to that place of peace. Love on ourselves. I am at peace. I am at peace. Everything is working out for my good. Ah, life is good. I am blessed. Ah, I am one with source. All my needs and my desires are always met. I am at peace. See, just keep affirming such things to yourself until, they, until you feel a shift in. Now, number three. <laughs> that does not mean <laughs> that we get an excuse not to do anything. We take action anyway. One of the quickest ways as well to shift out of a mood or craziness is simply to act towards your vision anyway is to serve someone else, is in some way to do the thing that you're actually called to do. Because in doing that, you find yourself paying attention to the vision, bringing it to life, rather than paying attention to the fears and the doubts and the anxiety and the, all of that. So you take an action. What is the best thing I can do next to bring my vision to life or to bring it into my physical reality right now? You ask the question in the middle of, you know, affirming that you are at peace and you take action immediately. You don't stop. You don't wait. You don't delay. You don't give yourself reasons to not do anything. OK, although we're go getters, we, you know what I'm saying. You will find also that the more you get into the habit of just taking action, um, the next action the more you realize that actually that's how you shift. That's how you move. That's how you, you get out of feeling crazy and down and any of that stuff. So you just take the next action. You take the next action, whatever it is. Go for a run, for goodness sake. <laughs> Put on a funny movie. Do something, you know? Because sometimes there's nothing, literally there's nothing you can think of to do in that moment. Put on a funny movie. Go for a run. Do something. Dance around like a crazy buffoon. <laughs> Make yourself laugh. Do anything to raise your energy and to shift out of just feeling, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what can I do? Okay, so those are three simple things to do in order to shift you out of being anxious, in order to 
as a spirit-driven soul determined to change lives, determined to make a difference, determined to create at least 5,000 in your business, then now honey, we don't have time to just indulge these things. What we do is we continue to act through them. What we also do is that we grow through these things, okay? So it's none of it is wasted. So we don't see it as some kind of horrible something, something, something. So we're not resisting it, but we're definitely growing through it. We're becoming more stable in our character. We're becoming more stable in our emotions as we just handle this stuff with deliberate decision. Okay, my loves. Share this with someone else. And if you don't already have the Freedom Book, okay, I'm giving away my Amazon bestseller, The Deliberate Millionaire's Freedom Book, and I'd love you to have a copy of it because it will help you identify and conquer any mental blocks that you may have to success, as well as show you simple ways to get your business up and off the ground or even to add additional income to the current business that you're running. Okay, so go and take a look. It's at rosemary99.com forward slash freedom book. Get a copy for yourself. You know, you can share this with someone else so that they too, if they are the kind of person I'm speaking to, spirit-driven souls, determined to change lives, create wealth, then in which case, go get the book. It will change your life. It will change the way you see things. It will open you up to thinking in different ways, which will enable you to step into more success, okay? Enjoy. Share this with someone else. Much amazing love. Such a pleasure as always to serve you. Bye.